Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, I'm diving into the fascinating world of laser diodes. If you've ever been curious about how these tiny devices work, what types exist, and where they're used, you're in the right place. So let's get started. First off, a laser diode is a semiconductor device similar to a light-emitting diode, or LED. But instead of just emitting light, it produces coherent light. That means all the light waves are at the same frequency and phase. The term laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And yes, it's as cool as it sounds. So, how does a laser diode work? There are three key phenomena involved. Absorption, spontaneous emission, and stimulated emission. Let's break it down. In absorption, the laser diode has a PN junction filled with electrons and holes. When voltage is applied, electrons absorb energy and jump to a higher energy level, leaving behind holes. This excited state is short-lived, lasting about a nanosecond. Next up is spontaneous emission. After their brief stint in the high energy state, electrons fall back down, recombining with holes. This process releases photons, the basic units of light. The frequency of these photons depends on the energy difference between the two levels. Now the star of the show, stimulated emission. Here, photons from an external light source hit the excited electrons, causing them to release extra photons. This means one photon can trigger the emission of another, amplifying the light. All right, let's talk construction. A laser diode is made of metal contacts, a P-type material, an intrinsic region, and an N-type material. This setup is known as a homojunction laser diode. The intrinsic region between the P and N type materials boosts the active area, leading to more electron hole recombination and higher output power. There are various types of laser diodes, including double heterostructure, quantum well, and vertical cavity surface emitting laser diodes, just to name a few. And they fall into two main categories, injection laser diodes and optically pumped semiconductor lasers. Injection laser diodes are similar to LEDs but use narrow channels, while optically pumped lasers use an external pump to stimulate emission. So, where are laser diodes used? In consumer electronics like CD-DVD players and barcode scanners, medical devices for surgeries, autonomous vehicle LiDAR systems, scientific instruments, and even in commercial applications like 3D printing and material cutting. Quick FAQs, advantages, Low power consumption, cost effective, long lasting, portable, stable, and efficient. Disadvantages, temperature sensitivity, and not ideal for high power applications. And that's a wrap on laser diodes. If you enjoyed this deep dive, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching.